Alright, so hello everyone, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're going to take a quick look at a new mod that just became available via Nightwave, the Exposing Harpoon Augment for Harpack. So what this augment does is it gives you 300% crit chance for 10 seconds when you pull an enemy. Now that might be a little bit confusing if you don't know what the Harpack is. So the Harpack is a Mastery Rank 7 primary that has two fire modes. The primary mode is a burst fire mode with pretty decent crit stats and decent status stats, and the secondary fire fires a harpoon that will pull the enemy to you and it also has some decent stats. So all in all you pull an enemy with a harpoon and you get a fat crit buff or rather you hit an enemy with a harpoon because even if the enemy doesn't have enough health and they die from the harpoon or they're too fat like a juggernaut so you can't actually pull them you will still get the crit buff even though you didn't technically pull an enemy. Also the crit bonus will only affect the harp act so you can't just harpoon an enemy and then switch to a secondary or melee and still have the crit, that doesn't work. So let us take a look at this mod and see if it is actually any good. Now this is how I would build a weapon if I didn't have a ribbon, okay, I do actually have a pretty decent ribbon for the harp act so I would go for something like this where I would go for hybrid since the harp act also has good status so we have serration for damage, split chamber for multi shot then both point strike and exposing harpoon for the crit chance and the reason I'm using both of these is because that gives you 110% crit chance, you know you get 20 base and then 90 on top of that on the burst fire and that gives you very nice and reliable damage with occasional spikes of very high damage when you orange crit. After that I have Vital Sense to bring the already above average critical multiplier even higher and I topped it off with 3 dual stat mods so we have Thermite Runs for Heat and Malignant Force and High Voltage for Corrosive. Though my actual boat of course incorporates the Riven which isn't crazy it is a reasonably rolled Riven Harpack Satities which adds 170% critical damage and 150% multi shot so I actually have 9 times crit multiplier which is crazy especially on the occasional orange crit and the multi shot is extremely nice as well. Now the difference this mod makes is as you would expect pretty damn huge and that's even with me comparing it to Argon Scope which is the mod that I would use previously. And it's not just the damage that makes this mod good, the reliability of the crits make the weapon feel better because well it's reliable so you don't run into these streaks of bad luck where the entire burst just doesn't crit. It's actually the other way around, it's kind of flipped on its head because every now and then you run into a streak of really good luck and you get multiple orange crits absolutely decimating whatever you're shooting at. And what you're watching right now by the way is not the Riven setup, this is just the basic setup with 3 dual stat mods. This is the Riven setup. Yeah, it's um, pretty damn nice. So the mod is good, right? It takes a weapon that is a secondary fire mode that kind of doesn't make sense because if you want to shoot at something, why would you want to pull it towards you? You know, the only reason I can think of is if you want to melee it and in that case, why are you using the hard pack and not a melee weapon? Though it does at the same time crowd control the enemy by knocking them down. And it gives you a reason to use it. And a good one at that because this mod will give you more damage than pretty much anything else you can put on it outside of a ribbon. 300% crit is a lot of crit. So if you like the hard pack, this mod is just straight up a must have. And it's free on top of that, right? You only need to get to rank 20 of season 2 of Nightwave to get it. And that is pretty much all there is to say about it. It's a pretty straightforward mod. So as always guys, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I shall see you some other time. Bye bye.